Hello, Saga friends. I'm happy to share with you today the title and the cover of book seven. I want to remind us all that even though I'm showing you the cover, I haven't yet finished the book, so please continue to have patience with me. I am fully intending to have it in your hands this year. As you know, book seven is going to pick up where Silver Hammer Golden Cross book six left off. So we'll be following the lives of Caradwin and Sidrock, of course, and also the lives of their children, Carich, Ashild, and Hrald in their own lives and adventures. Even though I'm not finished with the writing, I knew enough about the feel of the book, the tone and the mood of the book, that I was ready really to start formulating what I wanted the cover to look like. So I got in touch with Michael Rohani of Design for Books. The wonderful designer has designed all of the saga covers for us and told him what I was thinking about, gave him the title and gave him my thoughts. Another reason I did it early like this is I've always found that it's very inspirational for me to be able to look at the cover art while I'm still writing the book. So now I would like to show you what we came up with. Wild swept. Yes, wild swept. I wanted to suggest the boundary between two lands, which is why the stone cairns are there, marking a boundary. And I wanted you to feel the tension and the challenges facing our saga folk, as well as the glimpse of sea there off to the right. Also the glimmer of hope in the setting sun, the hope of a brighter tomorrow. This is meant to represent the border between the kingdom of Anglia, which is where Lindesay and Four Stones is, and Wessex, ruled by King Alfred. These are, of course, two of the great competing interests in the saga novels. The conflicts of Saxon versus Danes, of Christianity versus the heathen followers of the old gods, and, as always, the challenges between men and women. About the title. Wild swep is a unique word, one that I made up. And the first reader who correctly identifies the sentence in the novel that inspired that title, I will send you a hardcover copy of the book as your reward. As far as the cover art, I want to share with you the notes that I wrote to myself on April 24th when I was thinking of what the cover should look like. I wrote, cover in blues and grays, Dusk, barren landscape with trees and grasses blown and bent by active wind. A border is suggested by two tall stone cairns in the distance. So I think Michael captured that very, very well. So here is the cover of Wild Swept. Let me know, please, in the comments what you think. 